We live in an age of technology. As science advances, we find the lines between the traditional disciplines of science blurring as we apply techniques from one discipline to problems in another discipline. With the new science building phase two, now we've got a facility where faculty and students have the instruments they need, the equipment they need, the space they need to work together on some really exciting research projects. In the College of Science, student success is really our passion. We want to do anything we can do to help each and every student we have here to succeed. Uh, when it comes to teaching, the classrooms are much more flexible. If somebody wants to use inquiry-based methods, they can do that. Or if they want to use a traditional lecture format, they can do that. So it adds more resources, more flexibility to teaching, uh, more opportunities for research, more equipment. Uh, basically, it's a win-win uh, for our students and our faculty. 21st century geosciences is not the same as 20th century geosciences. We're much more digital and we need to have much cleaner spaces. Now we have two geospatial techniques labs. They have monitors that are more appropriate, that they have the appropriate processing power for us to be able to do state-of-the-art geospatial analysis. Now we have a new hydrogeology space with state-of-the-art equipment. So all of these things that are 2017 skills and beyond, we can now do. Being able to do very in-depth research with these new tools, I'll be able to learn skills that, you know, high-end uh, employers demand. Because faculty and staff have been so heavily involved in the design of this building, we were able to design some spaces that do some very special things for us. On floor five, we have two very large biomedical research labs that permit faculty and students to work on a variety of very interesting questions in the biomedical field. On floor four, we have a genomics lab that's been designed to work with isolating and analyzing DNA. It's a real neat cooperative space. We've continued many of the design elements that we started in phase one, and a bunch of those are aimed at making the building as environmentally friendly as possible. On phase two, a couple of new things that we're doing, uh, there are a couple of spots where we are installing green roofs, and the plants on the roof lower heating and cooling costs, and they're an attractive feature as well. We have a greenhouse behind phase two, and that greenhouse uses water that falls on the greenhouse roof. A donor helped us put some solar panels out behind the building, and those are capturing sunlight, turning that into electricity, which is fed into the EKU grid and into the powering of phase one and phase two. It's tremendously rewarding to see this building come online. We started with the very first design elements in 2005, and it is absolutely wonderful to see this marvelous building that so many people had a lot to do with come to fruition.